that old thing saves the day again. So this was a 3 8 ORB, and yes, I know my threads are terrible. I'm still figuring this stuff out. And that old uh, lantern-style tool post doesn't have a whole lot of rigidity, at least with the pieces of metal that I have for cutting. But uh, anyway, 3 8 ORF turned down to 16 millimeter. That's the O-ring for it right there. Thread that in there nice and tight, and it should seal. So let's give that a try, see if we can't uh, avoid hurting myself. Okay, as you can see, I put the hose on the air over hydraulic unit, and I've modified an O-ring face adapter to take a 3 8 NPT um, adapter. So now I got the quick connect on here, which attaches to here. Like so. And now all I need is air pressure. So let me get this set up, let the air the compressor charge, and then I'll come back to you. Okay, compressor is charged up. If you remember this piece, it doesn't fit. It wasn't stretched enough. Now, with the power of hydraulics, should I'm going to back up because I don't know what's going to happen. Yeah, see? It did move it. bigger each time but I need to pull this apart and Teflon tape okay we're back I made a mark on the mandrel a mark on the pipe so I'm gonna turn it 90 degrees or should it be probably 45 degrees huh okay, pump it back up let's uh, put the tension on it there like that we go again. All the joints are all taped up, so let's see what happens. Oh, that's the thing I made. Some more. Get some more crush on that rubber gasket. Maybe if I wasn't losing all my pressure. Okay. Let's uh, tape that one up too, I suppose. I have to uh, throw the gasket that came with this in the dryer. 
screwdriver. Less, but let's try with this guy. Chinese tools, am I right? Okay. Now we're out of air pressure. So let's let that recharge and then uh, try again. <clears throat> Tent number four. Um, so this guy, this unit here, came with these little crush gaskets. There's one, supposed to be one in here with the factory fitting. So I put that in there with this.
pretty easy. Let me... Okay, well, we're off the tripod. It's late, it's cold, it's a couple days later. Um, my phone died the last time I was recording, so it kind of got left off at a weird spot. But uh, if you remember right, I got that working. Whole new box of parts to finish this darn project. You can see the, the idea here. Um, this expansion joint I made using my new tool, full race down pipes, Amazon tubing, slips right on there. So that's the idea behind that guy. Um, I'll probably set the tripod back up if I can remember what I did with it. There it is. Um, finish... That that guy up there. Finish that one. Uh, still need to figure out the loop. I may add a dog leg into the loop, try to get it over the cross member a little bit easier. But I haven't decided yet. Um, the answer will more than likely be yes. You know, angle this pipe up and around the cross member, and it should go straight into this pipe, hopefully. Now, um, as far as the pipe expansion video goes, I'm gonna leave it here. Thanks for watching. Uh, if you want a breakdown of the parts list here, I will try to do my best. As I've said, I've had to make a custom fitting, so that's gonna be kind of the, um, what's the phrase I'm looking for? The hang up. That's going to be the hang up for most people. So, unless you buy it as a complete unit with the air over hydraulic unit already, it's going to be kind of a pain in the butt. Um, so, good luck. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to uh, check out the description, like, subscribe, share with your buddies, people that are into this stuff. And uh, thanks for watching.